All right, so I've just arrived here in Estonia on the very far right side of Europe, and we're gonna be trying to get all the way down to Portugal, the very far left, with absolutely no money. Rule one, every time I get to a new country, I will post a picture on my Instagram, and for every like it gets, I will get three cents for when I arrive in the next country. Go like it now. Rule two, the only money I'm allowed to spend is on broken camera gear. That's it for the rules. All right, so let me check my Instagram here. Instagram. So my post. I haven't looked at this yet, by the way. This is all new. I got 362. <laughs> that is, uh, I need to do some quick math. One second. That is $9.92. euros. So uh, I'm gonna go inside, get the money really quick. All right, I've got the cash. It was technically 9.92, but it's kind of annoying to go and get the change. So this is what we're working with. From here, we gotta get to the city somehow. I'd rather not spend this at all, as uh, this is mainly gonna be used for food and water. So uh, let's try either walking or hitchhiking to the city. I gotta look it up, I have no idea. Let's get going. All right, so I just looked it up on my phone. To get to Old Town, which is essentially the most famous place in all of Tallinn, the capital city here in Estonia, uh, I just have to walk four kilometers. Four kilometers isn't that bad for a guy who literally just walked across Korea, so. Let's get going. So while I'm walking here, I'm scouting for places to sleep. And uh, this spot right here seems pretty good. I've seen a chimney that looks abandoned. I might be able to sleep inside of it. So we're just looking all around, but this spot right here seems all right. All right, so I'm walking here and I see this building behind me. And it kind of looks abandoned. So uh, we're gonna go check it out. Hopefully get in it. That could be a great spot to sleep tonight. So let's go check it out. I don't see any cameras, I'm just gonna walk in. Where does that go? I don't know. Yeah, so the interesting part about the abandoned buildings out here, I noticed, is that they're like connected to like working factories. Like that last factory was connected to a working factory. This one right here is connected to like a home or something. So it's really awkward to just climb up that little bit and try looking because I'm just gonna be on top of someone's house and I can literally see the guy through the window. Anyhow, let's keep get walking to uh, Old Town here. Get there already. All right, so this right behind me is the Vera Gate, and basically the entrance to what I believe is the old town. Uh, it was built in the 14th century, I guess, as like a defense system for whoever the heck was attacking them. But uh, let's just go explore it. All right, so this right here is one of those big squares that you always see in giant European cities. But rather than talking about that, let's talk about the real problem at hand: the place to sleep and uh, food to eat. So I'm gonna run to a supermarket real quick and buy the cheapest thing I can get, because I'm starving, and then we're gonna try finding a place that I can bum out tonight. So, let's do that. All right, now this seems like it will be a very good purchase. 0.81 euros, and I get a whole loaf of bread. That should be pretty damn good. Let's still look around, but I think this is what we're gonna go for here. I'm not gonna lie, this soup looks tempting, but uh, I really don't have that 249 to be wasting. The beer prices here are pretty damn cheap. You could buy one of these small cans for 0 0.83 euros. All right, so I got some bread and water. I guess this will be my food for today. Uh, I guess this is probably all I'll be eating. I mean, I could still buy something later, but if I don't make any money, uh, I'm not gonna be satisfied. All right, so I'm feeling kind of out of place in this area here, so I'm gonna go down near the water, and I'm pretty sure there's an abandoned prison. Now, whether you can get into it or not, I'm not really sure, but uh, I'm gonna try getting in there, so hopefully. I can uh, feel more at home, if you will. Let's go. All right, so this specific prison right here, I believe got abandoned in the Soviet times. I'm gonna try finding a route in, but from what I can see, it looks like everything's incredibly well sealed up. And normally with an abandoned building, there's always one place that you can kind of just sneak your way through. But I think this place is actually has a working museum in one of the buildings here, so I'm pretty sure they have it all pretty well boarded up. Anyhow, let's get looking. Yeah, not quite a place to sleep here, is it? I don't like this like your spot to sleep at all, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I mean, unless you, you want to die. Looks like right here where some of the, I'm assuming, was a prison cell? I can't really tell. It kind of looks like it. Alright, let's try seeing if we can go in here. The windows are open, but uh, the bars aren't, sadly. This is boarded up here. 
It says video security. I don't know if I really believe him. Seems it's harder to break into a prison than I thought it would be. All right, so I'm assuming the reason this building is abandoned is like everything in the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union collapsed and so did all of its infrastructure. Um, aside from that, I've checked every corner of this building. There's no way to get in, so I'm gonna give up on that. I got a message from some girl that said her boyfriend might let me sleep on his couch. Said he's like 12 miles out of the city or something, so. Oh yeah, if that works out, I'm hoping. Otherwise, I've already seen a few good bush locations, so. I found water for 48 cents, but I can't tell if it's carbonated or not. It says carbon sererimata. What does that mean? Carbon tud. <laughs> Which one is normal water? Alright, so I just bought this water and I'm gonna eat the rest of my bread. Um, I don't know why I'm so tired today. I just am pretty low on energy. Maybe because I just got off of a 24 hour flight. That's probably it, to be honest. But this guy, his girlfriend messaged me and he's like, Yeah, I've got an apartment, basically, brand new. I haven't even went there. There's no sheets or anything, but if you want to stay there, you can. So I think he's gonna come pick me up in a few hours and I'll probably stay at his place, but for now I'm just gonna chill, eat some bread, and be the bum that I am. All right, so this guy's on his way right now. He said he's about 25 minutes away. Honestly, can't believe I actually got viewers out here in Estonia, but believe it or not, I do, and he's allowing me to stay in his apartment. All right, I think this guy should be here like any time now. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> yeah, what's up, dude? Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, man. I can't believe I have a viewer in Estonia. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Estonia. Well, sorry for that awkward handshake. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was my initiation. <laughs> I've had this apartment for like a year almost, and I just haven't, a bothered, year? I haven't bothered to move in yet. Yeah. Damn. All right, so he's taken me to some uh, abandoned place. I guess it's pretty damn high up. I believe it was the Moscow Olympics, and this is like where they held some of these uh, sea events. Uh, and it's, it's for some reason it was in Tallinn and now after it was built it's completely abandoned now and uh, really hell yeah and there's this is the Lena Hall aka the Lenin Palace of Culture and Sports that was built for the 1980 Moscow Olympics I'm not sure why they built it so far away from Russia but still to this day Russian Gopniks are still running the place all right so since this guy's a viewer you know I'm, I guess he knows me from the dolphin noise so <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> Let's come up here. How? Oh, <laughs> oh, you interview as well? It's not an interview, but something like that. All right. That's this isn't for Pornhub or anything, is it? For Pornhub? <laughs> it's not, right? I don't think Just so. Just making uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know. Not yet. <laughs> is there anything like crazy happening at his house? Uh, I haven't sleeping? been there yet. <laughs> oh. Do, what well, do you think? He's like hiding something from you. Or um, he might be like a killer or something. Hey, watch out, man. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> okay, so what's that uh, microphone for? Your interview? There's microphones for the sound on my camera. <laughs> oh, what do you like to photograph the most? Um, alien people. Aliens? Yeah. So do you believe that like dolphins have a connection to aliens at all? Thank you. <laughs> this guy's got a VHS. So what are you guys doing? What are you making? Um, we're making we're just what? footage uh, traveling all around. Uh, yeah, we're on Estonia? our way to Flex Festival. Flex Festival? Flex Festival. Who's, who's that? The number one uh, artist, musician in the world. Musician? Okay. Yeah. He's the best. I have no idea. Are you guys, do you have a band? Band? Only, like, boy band. You do a boy band? Yeah. No, I either. Weird? There's, there's pH everywhere. pH? What does it mean? Yeah. pH? O on the ground, like. Yes, if you. Uh, or if it was oh. for porn shop, that's good. Uh, oh, no, I didn't, I didn't even see that. <laughs> no, but, but it's like you yeah. asked that, I thought it was weird, and I looked uh, down and um, I understood. No, I'm just. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you never know. I've, many times people walk up to me as porn I'm saying. Damn. Meet uh, Gopnik. Morodoy Gopnik. I like your outfit. Thank you very yeah. much. I like yours as well. I like you. What? Right, so this guy is kindly offered to take me to this um, very um, Estonian restaurant here. 
Is this from Viking times or is it after that? Uh, <laughs> like Middle Ages maybe. Middle Ages, yeah. 1700s. 1700s? Oh, actually, it's quite the ancient stone now. 1200s? Up there. Yo, what the hell? <laughs> Look at this guy. Where did you take me? <laughs> you said you wanted to go back in time, right? <laughs> what is that? Am I in an MMORPG? That, that's the reason why we sound so similar to Japanese. You, yeah. This is an anime. <laughs> You're in the dream. Okay, so what are you gonna get? Well, I'm gonna get the uh, slow cooked veal cheek marinated in sherry. My choice would be the Livonian lamb. It's like Skyrim in real life. This guy upgraded me, bro. I upgraded from a loaf of bread all the way up to this. The most high-class meal that I could probably find in the city. You can immediately tell this is some high-class stuff. High-class, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know how to feel about this. I'm just walking around at 9.30 p.m. at nighttime. And well, no matter where I look, it's just a light. It really fucks up your perception of life. And what he was telling me is, uh, as a person here, when it gets to this time, you really have to pay attention to how loud people are, what animals are out, and that's how they hit you really kind of figure out what time it is in your own head. Because to me, it just looks like it's either 5 a.m. in the morning or the sun's going down. But the sun's been looking like it's gonna go down for at least three to four hours now. All right, we've just got to this guy's apartment. This guy is not actually currently living here right now, which is kind of insane because it's so nice. What? There's not much what? to show you other than this. That's amazing. This is perfect. <laughs> Alright bro, thanks so much. I will steal your apartment from you. Oh fuck man. I got one. <laughs> I right. one. No, for real. Thank you man. I feel so weird shutting your own door on your on you. I feel so weird. <laughs> Life is so weird. I've got an apartment <laughs> in Estonia for the night. It's really wide, it's very nice, beautiful place. Although I'd love to fuck around, I'm just gonna probably jump in the shower and get some sleep, so. I know it's bright outside, and it's probably not setting the mood for nighttime very well, but what do you do? Good night. And that's the end of day one of this ongoing adventure. I just finished editing this on day two in a McDonald's. Please consider donating to me via stream elements or joining my Patreon. Any $1,000 donations will instantly reset my money to zero, and I'll give you a giant shout out in the video. Also, remember to go like my post on Instagram. Seriously, go do it right now. I'm starving.